Hello, it is time for a bit of licensing housekeeping. Uh, let me click on my handy dandy vSphere icon. This is my HTML5 interface to my vCSA appliance. And you'll see it is a Chrome browser, but it's running full screen here. And very clearly in bright orange, I've got an issue about licenses. And it's telling me to manage them or consider managing them. So a couple of housekeeping things uh, for one, I've got a bunch of license keys for six that are doing me no good in this world of seven. So those are all gone. It's that easy. Next up, head back to the portal, vmug advantage on the hub. And actually you can just go here to the main page and this is what it looks like. Log in. And we're in. Now, what do I want to do here? Well, I'm actually trying to pull up keys for products I've already downloaded. So I could go to my account history, or since it might be your first time here, let me just show you, let's first license um, from left to right, vCenter Server 7 and then ESXi. Okay. And since I've already gotten it, ah, it gives me vCenter Server and ESXi all on one screen. How handy is that? So I'm gonna go ahead and put the server in my clipboard and then bring up, add new licenses, paste this in, hit next, and let's give it a name. Let me alt tab my way back. And that's a decent name. In case I run into trouble when I try to license all four hosts. So I may run into a problem here. Now it's saying two instances for the VCSA. So that won't be a problem, but let's have a look. Okay, so that license key's added. Let's add the next license. Alt-tab my way back here. Get this guy in the clipboard. Paste it in. Okay, get this name in the clipboard. Okay. All right, so that's done. So evaluation date we can see. So it's a year away or so, and that's cool. Now it's time to license some hosts. So how do we do that? All this is doing is showing us how do you add licenses to inventory, right? But to actually apply them, there's multiple ways to do that. Actually, let me just check out these other tabs to show them while you're here. All right, that's showing the cores. And the assets. And right here it says evaluation, expiring. So I've got an assign license button. That looks pretty straightforward. Details. Okay, I do not care about that. That's an ancient product. That's interesting that still shows up. So it's warning me when going from eval mode to license mode, one thing's gonna happen and that's what it was. Excellent. That wasn't hard. All right, so that's done. Now let's head over to hosts. So they made the workflow pretty easy. Everything's all in one place. Let's turn on the hosts and click on assign license. And you'll notice well, it doesn't actually give me a core count here. So we're about to find out together how this goes. <laughs> it's going to do a count. Perform this. And usage and capacity. All right, so if I click here, what happens? Some features will become unavailable. Let's see what that is. Okay. Enterprise Plus, even though it's Enterprise Plus, the premium one, we still have that. Let's read this little information. There you go. There's a whole lot you can do. <laughs> nice. All right. Time to move along. Um, it would be kind of nice to see what that says, though. 32 cores, four CPUs. It just says the same thing. All right. Here we go. Ta da! It worked. So new license expiration date there, and we're good to go. Now is the orange flag at the top gonna go away? It did not. 
What happens if we go back here? License expiration there, and here license expiration there. It's been applied. There's nothing more to do here other than, uh, I guess, log off, because I don't really want to click this X. That doesn't really tell me much, so sure, let's log off, see what happens. Okay, I've manually logged off. We're going to go back to the licensing screen as needed, if we need to. Log right back in. Ta -da! No more license key nagging orange thing at the top. I am delighted to say I can click here on the home screen, go back to here, and I'm all ready for uh, continuing to work with my home lab cluster. So what a nice feeling to have all that squared away. That was not difficult. Kudos to VMware for making that workflow of applying license keys a lot easier. I did a video about this, I think two, three years ago. It was a bit more convoluted. So there you go. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. And thanks for visiting TinkerTry IT at home, where you'll see I have numerous articles on vSphere 7 already for your enjoyment. Thank you again. Please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and getting notified of new videos. That would be greatly appreciated. Bye now. Stay safe.